Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to host Flutter web app on Firebase. Firebase hosting is a production grade web content hosting for developers. With a single command, you can quickly deploy web apps and serve both static and dynamic content to a global network. So in today's tutorial, I will be hosting a Flutter web app. I have created a simple Flutter web app and this is how it looks. Currently, this website is running on localhost, which only accessible from my device. Now, I will show you step by step how to deploy this Flutter web app to global network through Firebase. Firstly, we need to compile this Flutter web app into a web folder. To do that, we just have to run flutter build web command. And this command will compile the flutter project and generate a web folder inside the build folder. And this web folder contains all the required files for deploy. Next, we have to create the project in Firebase. In Firebase, if you have an existing project, you can reuse that project. And here, I will create a new project. In the new Firebase project that we have just created, firstly, we have to register a web app. And here, you can provide any app nickname and make sure you check also set up Firebase hosting for the app and click on register app. This registration will generate a Firebase SDK and this Firebase SDK contains Firebase configuration that requires to connect between Firebase and your Flutter web app. Now we have to add this Firebase SDK into our Flutter project. So there are two ways to add the Firebase SDK, which are using NPM or use a script tag. In this tutorial, I will be using a script tag. So we just have to copy the script below and look for index.html file inside the web folder that we generated just now and paste the script before the closing body tag. Next, we have to install Firebase CLI tool. So it provided the command, we just have to copy and paste into the terminal to install. If it says that you have error on installing, try to add sudo in front of the command. I have installed Firebase CLI previously, so I will skip this step. Next, we can now deploy to Firebase hosting. So now we have three commands needed to deploy to Firebase hosting. Firstly, we need to enter Firebase login command. This command mainly used for authentication. Make sure you log in with the Google account that has the Firebase project. So now I have logged in to my account. Next, the second command is Firebase init. But since we are only using the hosting services, we will write Firebase init hosting. And for any prompts, just enter or yes. But there is one exception, which is set up automatic builds and deploy with GitHub. In this tutorial, I will set it to no. So now Firebase initialization is completed. We now left with the last command, which is Firebase deploy. But before we execute Firebase deploy, we need to make a small changes. So when Firebase init hosting command completed, it will generate a firebase.json file in the root directory. Open this file and you can see a public key. And now we have to make a small changes to the value of this public key. We should replace the value with build slash web. This specified that the hosting file is inside the build slash web directory. Finally, we can now run Firebase deploy. And here you can see that it found 28 files in build slash web. If you don't see this line, recheck the public key in your firebase.json file. Now deploy is completed and it provided the hosting URL. When we open this URL, it will redirect us to the Flutter web app that 
I have created. And this Flutter web app is now deployed and available to everyone which you can access through the URL. And this is how we host Flutter web app using Firebase. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.